Well, it's a soggy day, but I was told that the noise of the rain on this roof is one of the favorite things of uh, this week's hay sponsor, First Timer with Hay. She recently bought a bag of treats for these buggers. Christine Lairway, one of our on-site volunteers. Christine was one of the three that helped paint all the barns that we shared this week. Finally getting back over there now in the good weather. And uh, it's Friday. We usually change the bale, hi Benjamin, on Thursday, but um, the bale lasted longer. Look at all these repairs. <laughs> these guys have uh, really worn this bag out, tested the strength of it. What are you doing, baby? You getting some food? I miss Molly. Got a big bite girl. Too funny. Well, anyway, uh, Christine sponsored this week's hay bale. And uh, as you can tell, the sunny weather has gone away. It was here and gone real quick. And we're back to normal spring showers. I'll stop talking and let these buggers look cute. <laughs> and uh, we just got this in. Luckily we didn't get stuck. As you can see, we're back to slogging through the mud. And you'll notice Mr. Teddy is over there having his senior and Mr. Ivan is having his senior. And somebody is very, very jealous. If you could tell who that might be. So we're having to stand guard to protect them. The geese are going crazy. You can hear the frogs in the background. Um, let's see if I can zoom in. A lot of those spots are actually not raindrops. It's uh, frogs swimming around looking for their mates. There's two right there. If you can see them. There's my finger. Eventually I'll get in front of the camera. Whoa, I'm all zoomed in. <laughs> so, wow, my finger is messing everything up. Right there in the screen, those are a few of the frogs. Can hear them. That is the sound of spring. They're out there looking for their mates. Our little ducks were back again today. They've been here more days than they haven't been. And the female duck ate a full-size frog today. That was like some National Geographic stuff we were watching with binoculars. Pretty wild. Um, trees are starting to bud. All the maples and the surrounding trees here. And that's exciting. It's definitely an early spring. So I'll let you watch these soggy, furry faces. This is their favorite day. They get the most hay out on hay day. It seems like the tight wrap really helps them. And they ran out of hay somewhere in the night last night, so they're probably a little extra hungry. What are you two babies doing? You getting a good bite? You guys better eat your fill before Big Al comes strolling over and pushes everybody out of the way. Anyway, um... Yeah, so Christine Laraway, thank you very much for sponsoring this week, these furry faces. And uh, we really appreciate you. The treats too. We haven't even cracked them open yet, but we're going to be doing our training pretty soon. And the treats go a long way in um, helping train these buggers. We're hoping the weather dries out enough we can get our training area Finally finished. Hi Molly. You're okay. You don't need to leave. These frogs are crazy. It's about the only thing that can overpower the sound of these buggers munching away. Let's get an ultimate close up here. Who's gonna get this bunch? Oh, 
That's going to be Molly. Oh boy, I guess who's coming over to join the party? I'm bowling for Donkey Albert. Hi, buddy. You gave up on the senior? Hey, 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 be nice. Can't be late to the party and be a jerk here, buddy. That's right, Harry. Let them know who it is. I don't love seeing any kicking, but that wasn't really fair that he came in and tried to tell everybody where it was. Albert! No, let's go tell him how it is. No. No. See, Harry was raised, Harry and Marv were raised by the mamas that came from the rescue, the feral mamas, and um, they had really terrible manners at feed time because they were starved, so they did a lot of kicking, and um, they fought each other constantly for food, so um, she brought in some of those kicking habits, which in some circumstances, like we just saw, it's good to assert some dominance, but um, other times we don't really love it, but seems to have calmed down quite a bit and um, they've been doing pretty well being civil with each other what do you say Harry? those frogs driving you guys nuts? Getting some good bites. You got your little little buddy here, Benjamin, taking your leavings. Oh, that's a big bite, buddy. We are so looking forward to some of this drying out so we can get some machinery in here and get this poo cleaned up that's on the outskirts of the uh, feed area. It's so soft we can't even hardly get the hay in here, let alone doing a clean up right now other than manual those frogs holy cow yeah those big pools or big uh, circles are all frogs that have been buried in the mud all winter and have unburied themselves and come out looking for a mate Kind of weird that the sounds of spring are basically every insect bug animal trying to find a suitable mate out there you getting some good stuff benjamin These frogs are um usually it's usually much later in the season that they start really ramping up like they are so pretty cool definitely in early spring usually getting snowstorms and blizzards right now our memories on Facebook are of major major blizzards so this is quite unusual well, we're gonna have a good early year to get things started anyway totally distracted and I see Ivan's getting let out and mr. Teddy Spaghetti's waiting to come out join the rest of everybody here so we'll sign off Thank you again, Christine. Really cool of you to do this for us. Uh, if anybody's interested in sponsoring a week, uh, it's right on our Shopify page. You can even just buy an increment of a bale, too. Um, whatever you're able to. There's all kinds of little treats and fun stuff you can get on there, too. And um, as always, we really appreciate everybody that has come together as a community to support these buggers we had a question recently if we're adopting anybody out and we're right now we're keeping everybody that's here um maybe in the future we'll shift again to adopting out that was never our goal um we really only did it because we had to break up the feral mamas and um it's really hard to find good homes and trust that people are going to treat them right we've been really blessed but give a lot of respect to these other um rescues that do it all the time i don't i don't even know how you spend the time vetting the families and going through all that it's crazy uh, uh, right now we don't have any but if anybody is needing to rehome an animal or anything always let us know we'll try to connect you we don't have a ton of resources but we have some and we love trying to 
help people find families for their animals. Uh, thank you, everybody, and have a great week end since it's Friday. And thank you again, Christine. I so appreciate you. Can't wait to see you.